Dear friends, welcome to our MOOCs program for Environmental Science course at Senior Secondary Level. I am Neelam Gupta, course coordinator for Environmental Science. Subject code of this course is 333. One question can be mined to anyone, why should we know about our environment? Next question came to our mind that why we introduce this course? The answer is this because environment is the major issue in the present scenario. Well, before I give you an answer for this, I would like to ask you if you have ever wondered why global warming is occurring, what impact this will have on society or why tigers are becoming endangered or why earthquakes, thunderstorms, floods and volcanic eruptions happen to in some world, some region of the world and not in others. Well, this is our main objective of environmental science to increase awareness about environmental issues, explore possible solutions and lay the foundation for active participation of individual in the protection of environment and be careful and rational use of natural resources. I would also like to add this, the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development held in Rio de Janeiro in 1992 and World Summit on Sustainable Development at Johannesburg in 2002 have drawn the attention of people around the globe to the deteriorating condition of our environment. Environmental management has captured the attention of health sector also. So, you see, managing environmental hazards has become very important. Thus, as a responsible citizen of the earth, we cannot afford to be ignorant of environmental issues. Another reason is, Honorable Supreme Court also gave direction in this regard for introducing environmental education as a compulsory subject in the form of integrated as well as separate subject. This course also provided practical insight into environmental management to enable an appreciation of the issue related to sustainable livelihood and human welfare. This course designed in such a manner to cover all aspects of environment. So far the objectives are concerned, the entire course has been developed for you to know about origin of earth and evolution of life and appearance of human species, to develop concern for environmental problems, to understand ecological principles, to harmonize environmental concern with technological and socio-economic issues, to develop respect for nature and living beings and to help maintain ecological balance, to take active part in protecting and conserving the environment and to assume the responsibilities for change of society. Now we can take a look about our overall course structure. This course covers overall seven modules in core or compulsory modules for all learners, whereas the learners can choose any one of the two optional modules. Why we have taken these modules to cover the topics related to environment structure? I will share with you about the course structure. The first module, Environment through Ages, covers origin and evolution of environment and its uses by humans have three lessons. Second module dealt with ecological concepts and issues. This module contains four lessons. Third module related to human impact on environment. Third module related to human impact on of environment. This module has two lessons. Next module, that is fourth module, dealt with contemporary environmental issues having five lessons. Fifth module dealt with environment conservation means conservation of biodiversity and other natural resources having four lessons. Module six is sustainable development with regards to agriculture and cleaner technology. This module has four lessons. Last module related to environmental management. 
which includes environmental ethics, legislation, and other environmental management issues. This module has four lessons. We have two optional modules named Water Resource Management and Energy and Environment. Each module has five lessons. Out of these two modules, you have to study only one. Environmental science has practical component also. This course is designed in such a manner so as to cover all the aspects of environment, starting from the origin and evolution of earth to management of environment. This course is to sensitize learners about environmental concerns. This is all about your course. We have already told you that your course content is covered in eight modules and total number of lessons you will have to study is 31, 26 from core modules and 5 from one optional module which you will opt. We have practical part also. The purpose of teaching environmental science is not only to teach you with theoretical knowledge but also to develop practical skills. This is an expected outcome of this interview. There is enough scope for developing experiments in different ways so as to bring out the creativity inherent in each one of you. There are 17 exercises which include 7 field studies, 4 laboratory exercises and 6 creative exercises. You have 2 dispatches for core modules, 1 dispatch for optional module and 1 small booklet for practicals. This course has great opportunities to continue your advanced studies and opens great avenues for your future. This is all about the course of environmental science, COPE. Information will be available to you. I request you actively participate in this course. For further information, you can contact me. I wish you all the best.